Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Bible Study Minute. Today we're taking a look at Deuteronomy chapters 1 and 2. The old generation of Israel has passed away after 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, and now this new generation of Israelites is ready and on the cusp of entering the promised land. But before they do, the Lord wants to remind them of a lot of things. He wants to remind them of the law. He wants to remind them of their history. So Deuteronomy begins with Moses retelling the history of Israel, reminding them of what happened in those 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. And this serves as a reminder of what the Lord has done and where the Lord has brought them from. So it kind of Moses kind of starts from the beginning and talks about all the disobedience and how what caused the 40 years of wandering in the wilderness and then like all the different obstacles they ran into and then how the Lord began to open up the door for them to enter into the promised land. But the one thing that we see here is that in those 40 years, the Lord continued to provide and protect Israel. So he was always there giving his grace to them, even though they were, even though that one generation was being disciplined for their constant disobedience. So that's what I want you to take away from this passage today is look at the hand of God working in the life of Israel throughout this entire 40 years. He was constantly with them and if Israel had realized that and recognized it, they could have been in the promised land already, but they chose to disobey, stay in their old mindset, and that is what caused that entire old generation to have to pass away in the wilderness. So I want you to just take a look at your own life, if, especially if you're about to enter into a new season of life. Just look back on your life, see all the things that the Lord has done in your life, how he has blessed you, shown favor to you, and just been gracious to you even when it doesn't feel like it. He has always been those things to you. So just be reminded of that today as you meditate on this passage. Until next time, grace and peace.